Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching the Welcome to this Windows Server 2008 Active Directory video. I'm your host, Coach Culbertson, and let's talk about what's going to be in this video. We're going to start off with a little bit about your instructor and Train Signal, and then I'm going to talk to you about what's covered in this course so you have a little bit of an idea of what to expect. We're going to talk about the global mantic scenario that I'm going to use all throughout the course. And then, of course, I want to show you what we're actually going to be building in this course. And I think you're going to be a little surprised at the diagram that I'm going to show you to you there and exactly how much we're really going to get done in this set of videos. So just a quick bit about your instructor here. As you see, I have a lot of different certifications. I've been doing this kind of work for around 10 years, and I stopped counting after that because then I start to feel old. But <laughs> uh, I did take a two-year tour of duty as an inner-city high school teacher in Chicago at Roberto Clemente High School, and I just saw some phenomenal results with the students there. Took a lot of street kids and turned them into computer technicians, and a lot of them are very, very successful, and I am very proud of my kids. So if any of you are out there listening, just want to give you a shout-out to my Clemente kids. I did actually end up having to step out of the high school arena because I ended up adopting a daughter <laughs> out of the deal and a resulting son-in-law and found out that teenagers are expensive. So I came back to corporate America and have been uh, doing IT stuff ever since. And over the last 10 years, I mean, I've launched a couple hundred careers, probably more than that. I literally have taught thousands of people around the Chicagoland area and obviously now I'm teaching far beyond the Chicagoland area because as this video is internationally distributed so now I guess you could probably say I'm an international instructor huh <laughs> hey let me tell you about our train signal methodology though uh, we have a very casual training method and we really focus in on real skills first okay certification don't get me wrong is an important part of this video but if you can't actually perform the tasks that the certification video is going to ask of you, you can pass all the tests you want, but it's not going to do you any good when you get into the workforce and, and you end up sitting in front of a monitor and you don't know how to create a user account. All right, So we're really focused in on developing real skills first, and certification comes out of those real skills. We also do a lot of scenario-based training in all of our videos. Because I really want you to be able to answer the question, why does this particular concept, why does this particular task, why does this particular thing that I'm learning change my life? Okay? And then we focus a lot on how do you actually implement this stuff real world. Let's go ahead and let's talk about what's actually covered in this course. And so what's on the hit parade for this one? Well, first of all, as you notice here, I'm actually starting the numbering at number two because you're actually watching number one. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off by talking to you about what is Active Directory. We're going to do a little front loading about a lot of the major concepts and terms that you're going to be encountering all throughout this course. Then we're going to start off our entire series by creating two domain controllers. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do these step by step. We're actually going to be building the first part of our domain. I'm going to show you how to set up remote desktop on your personal Vista client so you don't have to get up and walk into the server room every time you got to do something. Then we're going to be creating organizational units, users, and computer accounts, groups. I've got some nifty tools in there for you, including a fantastic Excel sheet, by the way, that's included in this course that you'll be able to utilize to actually create your own users en masse. Then we're going to talk about sharing stuff on servers. I want to make sure you know how to do that. We'll talk about permissions and the difference between share level permissions and NTFS permissions and how all that works. And get your control freak on. I'm going to start teaching you about group policy objects. And i got to tell you, this is some fantastic stuff that's going to help you lock down your network and help secure and keep people out of stuff that they shouldn't be in. Okay? Then I'm going to teach you how to make your boss really mad and then fix it really fast. <laughs> you might even be able to subtitle that particular video when group policy objects attack because it's all about when you need to find exceptions to group policy. And I'll show you how to get that done. Uh, then I want to show you how to make your life easier with computer policies and preferences. There's some new cool tools in Server 2008 that are going to help you do a lot of stuff that we've always wished we could be able to do with group policy, but it's just now possible with some new extensions. Then I'm going to show you how to push software onto a lot of machines without ever getting up from your desk. And this is some great stuff if you're faced with the task of installing software on, say, 500 machines, because you don't want to go around to 500 machines and install it by hand. It's crazy. So we'll further our look at group policy in there. Uh, then we're going to talk about password stuff. And that's going to be pretty vital to you. We'll talk about default domain passwords and resetting passwords and all of that. 
Then in passing the buck, I'm going to show you how to actually delegate the administration of a particular section of your Active Directory over to another administrator. Most of the time, you're going to have other folks that will be working with you in your IT department, although you might be the only IT guy or gal in your, <laughs> in your company. But if you have someone that you can kind of pass the buck off to, I'll show you how to get that done. Then probably one of the most critical elements of this course is creating backup solutions before stuff blows up. I'll show you how to create backup solutions that actually work. And remember that only you can prevent data loss. So back up early, back up often. A public service announcement from your friendly neighborhood instructor. All right, so then we're going to talk about reducing single points of failure. I'm going to talk to you about operation masters, also known as FISMOs, and how to make sure that you have a good amount of flexibility in your network, especially if you have a medium to large network. Then I'm going to talk to you about monitoring, auditing, and defragmenting your Active Directory database. These are some essential tools that you're going to need to know just to make sure everything is running A-OK. -okay. Then I'm going to teach you how to create a separate location, actually a child domain, inside of your Active Directory network. And then how to give people access to stuff between networks, even if it's 790 miles away. After we tackle that, I'm going to show you how to create a branch office using a read-only domain controller. And even more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at Server 2008 Server Core, which is a very, very cool new element of Server 2008 that's going to let you run Server 2008 on a machine that it may not be the most powerful machine in the world, but if you have specific tasks that you need to get done with Server 2008, Core might be a very good option for you for that. Then we're going to take a look at how to bring in OU and users back from the dead in case stuff gets accidentally deleted. If we've created good backup solutions to begin with, we'll actually be able to recover user accounts and entire organizational units from our backups. Then, of course, we have to talk about what do you do when a domain controller blows up, and because that's going to be an inevitability. Uh, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. There's one truth that I have learned, and that is that computers break. So if you're in the IT field or wanted to go in the IT field, it's, it's, it's a good place to be because we're always going to be needed. <laughs> no matter what level of automation that we get to, computers always will break. So we'll talk about how to fix stuff and some suggestions on what to do for that. And we'll be building a lot of the techniques that we've talked about previously in the series in that particular video. Then I'm going to show you how to upgrade a Server 2003 machine to Server 2008. And you're going to find out that's a pretty simplistic process. There's a couple of steps that aren't exactly apparent, though, that we'll get into. I'm going to talk to you about how you can connect networks across continents. We'll talk about how to take two domains, and actually two forests, and create a connection between them. Then this last section, this is all certification stuff. So I'm going to talk to you in video 23 about the certification process and what you can expect and all that. But then I'm also going to cover in the last four videos some basic core foundational principles that you're going to want to remember when, when you go into the certification exam. Now, just so you know, these particular videos are not nearly as hands-on. They're more theoretical in their scope. They're more of a primer than anything else. So I don't want anyone sending me angry emails saying, you didn't cover this enough. Well, it's because these are just certification topics to get you started. The core of this video series is really all about Active Directory, and these topics are really stuff that kind of surround Active Directory and our additional features. But quite honestly, uh, in these particular videos, you'll also get probably enough background to get you started and will actually help you prepare for even the 646, which is the MCITP Server Administrator exam, and also the MCITP Enterprise Administrator exam, which at the time of this recording, I actually just passed like three days ago. Actually, I had actually already produced all of the videos before I had taken this one, the 647 exam, and was pretty amazed how well I covered the topics, even in the certification videos. So again, these last four videos, just wanted to make sure that you know, are more theoretical and more to give you a primer, which is why they're labeled mostly uh, 101, <laughs> okay? Just to give you a start you probably want to do a little more study before you go in and take your exam for these, okay? All right, so let's talk about the scenario that I'm going to be walking you through all the way throughout this course. All right, here's the, the basic scenario. You're the newly hired system administrator for a new startup company called Globomantics, which, by the way, is a global stock brokerage. 
Their whole deal is to sell stocks, securities, bonds, all that kind of good stuff. And this was started by by an imaginary fellow by the name of Hank Richards, who is our founder and CEO. He's a rough and tumble Texan who isn't the most tech savvy individual, but he knows the value of having good people who know the ropes when it comes to computer stuff, which of course is why he hired you, right? Now, in this particular video series, you're going to have the rare opportunity to build out the corporate network from scratch. A lot of times when we're hired on, we don't get to build out a network. We have to deal with what someone else has built, which can be quite the challenge. But in order to further the learning process, I feel that if we can build something from scratch, you'll know a lot more about it from the ground up. You're going to be building out the, especially the Active Directory for Global Mantics. And we're going to be building it out for the main office in New York, the Chicago office. We're going to be building a Dallas branch office for a small amount of people. And also, we're going to be melding networks between Globomantics and a small company, Verde Petra, out of Tokyo, which we're going to find out later on that Hank is going to buy. So let me just show you kind of in brief uh, what we're going to be building in the course. This is what we're going to start off with. Yeah, that yeah, you see the nothing on the screen? Okay, that's what we're start, that's what we're starting off with. We're going to start off with an internet connection and a switch <laughs> basically. And then we're going to end up with this, okay? We're going to have a pretty significant network built out complete with group policy objects, user accounts, multiple domains, two forests. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to end up building all throughout this course. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this screen. And you know, it's a little messy and and it's it looks like a lot, right? But we're going to take building this network out one step at a time. And you're going to find out that you can actually build a network relatively quickly. And you're going to find out that a lot of this stuff isn't that difficult. You're going to need to know where the buttons are for it though, right? So now you've seen a little bit about what we're going to be building in this course. You've got a kind of a brief overview, a little bit about what to expect. Uh, so the question is, are you ready to go for it? All right. <laughs> so if you're ready, we're going to jump right on into it. Uh, before we get started with it, though, I do want to mention to you that all throughout the course, I'm going to be using mostly virtual machines. And there may be times where you see me flip between the virtual machines. So while all the work that we'll be doing is, is real world, we'll actually be doing it in a virtual context. And as you probably have read and probably already know, virtualization is getting to be a bigger and bigger deal by the day. So you actually get to see some virtualization stuff, at least in demonstration, you know, at least in action. Although we, this course does not cover virtualization. Just want to let you know, all right? So if you're ready, come on, let's go. So I will see you in the very next video in which we start talking about what is Active Directory.